Aye, what was what was the subreddit you were on? Okay, the, the subreddit was just something really minor. So there's a guy asking somebody about when's the uh, Attack on Titan last, I don't know, maybe eight episodes or whatever coming out on DVD. Mm. And it's, like you said, it's just people being in, as unhelpful as possible. Basically, just slating them going like, who fucking buys DVDs anymore? What a fucking cunt. Mm. What age are you from the Stone Age? And it was like, it's just a simple question, you know what I mean? I don't get it. It's, it's, see, it goes one way or the other. Either I just skipped all that. I was actually going to read that. Um, the karma system doesn't work because it's right there for everybody to see, right? So people are just overly fake nice a bunch of the time. All right. Or, like you said, it, it, it's like pure... They all think they're geniuses. So you go on... Um, oh, there's a really good video where the guy goes like that. Oh, you get into something, you join the subreddit, and he goes like... I really like this water stuff and then all the replies are like oh yeah me too I quite like pH 4 me, sometimes 4.1 I like to get it bottled you can't trust these those glass bottles these days you know such and such and just like mm, and look I, I know more about it than you that's, that's what subreddit basically is not subreddit reddit like dot com hate them oh what was the one I was on about oh yeah my microphone that won't work <laughs> yeah because it's recording at like 45 million hertz and then it has to be at 30 million hertz and it's a bit like that Kevin Bridges joke I'm like who changed that? Uh, I've never you know I've never been anywhere near that setting exactly yeah uh, I'm like how did that just inexplicably change? this machine's becoming sentient to fuck with it's annoying on two because the my Mac has a built in microphone but A it's pish well it's not it's actually not that bad but it's when you've got a microphone right there I'm like, no, this is ridiculous. Let me use my freaking microphone that has worked perfectly before. Try to record some freaking like voiceovers and shit. Like it's typical when the one time you need it probably as well. Mm. So I find out Premiere's got this really handy. You can like record voices over straight into it, just mm -hmm. straight on to like a, a uh, what do you call it? You know, like uh, audio track. So I'm trying to do that. It was having none of it. What else you been uh, I've just been messing about. I'm uh, up to date, finished X Men '97. Same. I, I don't know about you, but I was by the end of it, I was about lost, and I was about uh, in what in what way? I just felt it didn't nail the landing. I was about like when Bastion came on the scene. That was when it, it lost me a wee bit. Um, also, Xavier married someone from the Shi'ar. Mm, didn't he run out, so I don't think they are married? Well, no, they're not married, sorry. I, he, 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 he was, was gonna. He was gonna, but Gambit died, so he went. He came back to Earth. To be fair, they were like, oh, we're gonna like, erase your memory and all that. And he was like, hmm, don't know about this. He's like, well, if that was what my queen requires. And then it was like, no, hang on, Gambit. So, um, aye. That, uh, that was a lot weird. I, I kind of wish they'd kept Xavier quote unquote dead a little bit longer mm. but then again I don't know it was, it was, it was okay it was fine yeah I, I get what you're saying like Bastion was a bit sort of Bastion we only and really... Sinister and whoever else I'm trying to think mm. we're all maybe a wee bit under the veil see I, I was I was praising it before because you didn't have to have seen the previous like show yeah but it, Sinister didn't really get that much of an introduction other than this guy's pretty evil uh, as well like I say it lost me a wee bit just in the end and, and she betrays Magneto and I was about like uh, who, who does I can't remember her name again it, it, it suffered from too many people syndrome and Rogue went Rogue and then Captain America was in it and um, Rogue annoyed me a wee bit because but that felt that did feel a wee bit rushed like she went with Magneto and I'm like mm, see that's pretty interesting but then like they scrap for like five minutes then after it it's sort of like oh I'm back on your side now like kind of no questions asked I'm like Cyclops wouldn't maybe have one or two kind of <laughs> sort of cutting your marks out, maybe uh, like, outra yeah. outrageous to express and then because you've got Madeline and Jean it was a very come together moment but it, it, it just felt really busy it was busy to be fair there, there was a lot of um, and then Wolverine gets kind of like does he get taken out by Magneto 
Yes, he he pulls all the adamantium off his skeleton. Wow, that's going to be interesting to see how they well, proceed with that. So the thing is, is that might have been hard to depict without it being too violent. Yeah. So that's why it was kind of like a sort of still frame. Yeah. Because they need to kind of keep it PG. Um, that that always kind of annoys me though when they... This is a problem with X-Men in general, not the show, is that... So they separate into two teams. One of them's going after Magneto, the master of magnetism. Oh, they are taking Wolverine, Wolverine yeah, who's made that metal. Exactly that. That, that always annoys me. Because it's like, tactically, no, send him on the other team and then, I don't know, f- figure, some, figure some stuff out. Just mind you can hit circle and yeah. launch big attack, but um, I'm not telling you hit play. Um, uh, it's, it, exactly, it always happens. Here we go, who's going to win? Wolverine against Bloomin' uh, Magneto. Uh, Magneto, I feel this as well, but, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, he's like tailor-made for him. Um, when he when he stabs him as well, Wolverine, and he uh, like, hits him sort of low in the abdomen. Yeah. I'm like, what's the... Are they... Is the, is the head cannon that he, he was hesitant and didn't really want to do it? So that's why he missed. Yeah. It's just like, I don't think Wolverine is really going to like miss by accident from point blank range like I'm pretty sure you could ah, well the sneak attack as well yeah. so like, you can maybe argue Magneto clocked him coming and maybe deflected it last nah, minute but I, it didn't seem to be the case yeah I don't know that that's another problem with X-Men is like depending on who's writing it they're really all of them are well so all of them besides Wolverine don't well I can't say none of them kill people but they don't like killing yeah. Wolverine doesn't like killing either depending on who's writing it but sometimes you do it in extreme like, cases so like of all people you'd think you know Magneto is going to just like slice so well, it's, well it kind of did so I mean that that at least tracked but uh, it's it's you know you're playing top trumps and you kind of got the two mismatch there mm-hmm. so th- that kind of annoyed me um, a bit of a and Magneto sort of OP ruins Earth basically yeah you know I, I kind of like what they're going for I like the idea that Magneto has been pushed yet again you know against humanity yeah. it's like when will humanity learn this honestly in many ways it's more on humanity why hasn't Magneto wiped these films out because they just they do give them every reason to mm never just a case of oh Magneto oh you're just being a grumpy guts it's mm. just yeah well, we'll kill his wife the even dogs. in the movies they do this all the, the time in the movies you know what I mean gang of people come after him he's like no I've relented my violent ways and sure enough they force his hand yeah. so he has to like I'm pretty sure in like the X-Men apocalypse he like deflects the bullet um, and it hits his wife instead it's some shit like that I just, ah, I've not seen Apocalypse in a while I like it although it's admittedly like quite stupid aye um, I do enjoy it though I, I had a very minor argument with a guy on Twitter the other day because he, he said Psylocke was the only good thing about that thing and I was like I forgot she was even in it <laughs> she does one thing and it'll be, it'll be that way he's like A he's a simp so of, of course strong women um, but also B it'll be like Psylocke's a character you like so he wants to say that and I'm like you don't remember she does like one thing nah she's really she's not all that interesting and then he, his reply was something like your math isn't mathing for me with like a, a meme picture and I was like you're like 47 why are you trying to talk like I'm a Gen Zer on, Skib- on skibbity, Twitter skibbity toilet and he's one of those guys that his display photo is still him with like a mad covid mask on and you're like that's just because you're ugly <laughs> Well, I mean, it is though. It's oh, like it's sorry. not like topical. It's not like you have to wear them anymore or anything like that. And it's some sort of. But then the post creds as well, like when they're in the future. Well, sorry, half in the future, half in the past. Nathan's arm gets taken off, and Sinister does a thing with it. It's. I don't know. What, I, I, I don't what quite. I don't quite know what happened because like Bastion became the the future incarnate, and I don't quite understand what that means. Okay, yeah, good. I'm glad you didn't, because no, I, I, I don't really understand. So it's, I don't know if that was meant to just be a dramatic way of describing he's uber-powerful, or if uh, like he's 
again he takes his arm he t- that, that's what happens isn't it he takes um, he pulled off Cable's, Cable's arm, arm and then merges with it to get what Minehawk's preparing what the fuck do you need to do about it that I suppose killed the guys there ah yeah it's I was about like okay fine I guess like he's he's now the boss and they're trying to appeal to his humanity and uh, I how, how did they beat him again? I'm actually struggling. Um, they sort of just general ass whippery. Just, uh, just generally what are they called? OP. Oh, Beast shows up in, in, a, in a Sentinel. Sentinel and stamps on him, and then, yeah, Rogue sort of punches him about and side. Nightcrawler um, fights him for a while. Aye, and everybody sort of just has yeah. a go at him. And it's a, again, it's a bit of a shame because the fights, like the sword fighting, had been really kind of cool up to that point. Um, was this the right. I think so, yeah. I think your guys are just meant to make a move, yeah. So that guy Jozu is meant to be heading somewhere. Okay. I think he's oh, going to stand him. in the way. He's, going, ah, he's yeah. going to stand in the way, I guess. And protect you from the sword strike. Ah, yeah, point. Yeah, I mean, the, the fighting was cool and everything, but yeah, I, I, I was getting a little bit sort of like... What? What's everyone doing? What, what, what does that mean, future incarnate? I'm not... I don't quite follow that. I should I know what that means? I think what they're talking about is it's one of those things where it's like, you know, some sort of theories of like time travel or whatever is that certain events are inevitable. Well, yeah, aye. I think that's kind of what they were, what they meant by that is like he's, he's inevitable. Like we can't stop him. He's Thanos. No matter what, he's somehow gonna, yeah. In- inevitable. Or oh, Kim Jong Un. In- inevitable. Did he say that? Yes, yes. Oh. Because things are inevitably going to change. God, open your freaking ears. Um, and then, yeah, they end up in... Uh, in, in, in um, ancient Egypt. Apocalypse is that... Do you know who the person is that with Scott and Jean? Is she important? She? Yeah, the lady was... I can't mind her name. Is it not... Is the wee boy not Cable? Uh, the wee boys cable, but yeah. there's a lady. Uh, I don't. Like, I, I I don't know. I'm sure she. I'm sure she's Grand Inquisitor or something. Nah, I'm sure she. I know it's not her name. I'm just making it up, but. As far as I'm aware, she's, she's just not. Ah, she's not someone you're aware of. Her, lady so. in charge. Lady in charge. Fine. So the future, um, uh, <sighs> Kathleen Kennedy. Hi. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. I'm not sure who who that is. So like Sinister as well. Gone, What's up with Sinister? Is he is he dead now? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, because she took all his like genes that were keeping him young away. Yeah. So does that mean he's gonna run off and just sort of crumble into dust? Because well, the dude's like a hundred, in fact, more than that. I'm sure. Uh, he just kind of got all goopy and old, and they just sort of let him walk away. Yeah. So I assume he'll just he'll regather his thoughts and do the same thing again. Uh, Sinister's um another one of those bad guys. A bit like Apocalypse, where his powers are sort of undefined, like you kind of haven't really cleared up what you can actually do. Yeah. With Sinister, though, well, then again, Apocalypse is still a bunch of people's powers and so on. Well, Apocalypse is going to be young now as well, because they've they've gone back in time and that's mm. young Apocalypse. Yeah. So I wonder what, I wonder what his his powers are. At that point in time. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. if he even has any maybe it's just exactly being right. weird and, and blue like he's not it doesn't look like apocalypse just yet yeah because a lot of his powers again are from like Swapples. stolen from other mutants or they're sort of like technologically like given to them and things like that as much as that's why you can just sort of do everything as much as people slate is that apocalypse or is it it is apocalypse isn't it the movie or what ah, you mean? X-Men, X-Men apocalypse yeah that's what yeah ah, and then Dark Phoenix is Dark um, Phoenix is pretty is bad. garbage yeah it's, well it's just meh nothing even happens in it ah. the bad it, uh, there's a bunch of theories that they deliberately tried to make it bad because it was it was something like they'd ha- they were going to sell it to Disney so they tried to like kill the franchise before they bought it or something like that. I, I think. I think you're gonna just... make it crappy on purpose. Oh, you gotta kill those guys. Those crossbone guys are in the way. Um, gotta kill them. Gotta kill them, Rick. Gotta kill them. Nah, it was, I mean it, the the series was 
uh, relatively dead on its arse anyway. I don't after, even get it because there was there was at the end of Apocalypse they have the the post credit scene about Essex Industries, which is that's Mister Sinister. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then they just abandoned that and they were like, "Not uh, Dark Phoenix." Exactly. Yeah. I don't know why because you've already done and, Phoenix. And it was a bunch of stuff like they just kill off Mystique because I don't know they Jennifer Lawrence couldn't be asked or they couldn't afford her or what. They just kill her off for the sake of Jojo's. I think stuck on that tower. There's a wee mini tower just in his way. Dumbass, get out of the fucking way. Joseph no, better have made that, the stupid arsehole. I bet he hasn't. I bet he's fucking missed it because he's standing there fighting one guy. Oh. I think Joseph saved it. Oofed. Oh dear. Oh, your base was taken out. I don't know if that means you've lost. <laughs> Fucking useless Jules, you prick. But I did nothing wrong. You went to say Tenacious D as well. I did. Last week. I did. They opened with Kekapu. And then... Where did they sing that? <laughs> can't remember. They sang Wonder Boy, like two or three songs in which I thought would have been a wee bit later on mm. but um, they, it was good and they do they do be as the boss but the the guitar player sings it uh, and I thought he was a bit pish I saw the video and I, I agreed with you I, I didn't think he was that good no and I thought Jack Black sung it anyway no Dave Grohl sings Dave Grohl who sings part. it does he yeah. ah, okay uh, which obviously he wasn't going to be there he'll no. be off doing whatever but I the the guitar player couldn't I don't think he I didn't really have the voice all that good he was really good on on the guitar yeah, yeah. Um, I and like Jack Black comes out and he's wearing like some god awful um, apparently it's like a Guy Fieri shirt so it's like a mad flame shirt ah, yeah. like a pure 90s sort of um not tie-dye, but I don't know, that, that same sort of aesthetic, like, really shitty flame um, shirt with, like, matching shorts. <laughs> it, you know, it just looks like a pure fool. Um, Kyle Gass looks about 103, because he's got his beard all grown out, and he's got, like, he, so he's, you know, he's only got hair, like, at the side. Um, he's got that, like, growing out, he, look, he does, he looks like Santa or something. Uh, but in a good way. And, I'm going um, to check while you're doing that. I'm going to check how old Kel Gas actually is. I think he's like 50. You think he's like 50? Yeah. No. Um, they play video games and they play... I don't play video games no more. Great song. Uh, Rody, which, if I'm being overcritical, right, they do a bit after the first... It was either the first song or the second song. They're on about like, oh, um, they've got like a big like inflatable sort of devil thing. Like, oh, he was supposed to light off a bunch of fireworks. Like, what, what happened? Like, hey, Kyle or whatever, get out here. And he comes out, so like the Rory comes out and he's got like a um, control deck or whatever with like a giant button in the middle. And he's like, oh, I couldn't figure out which button it was. And there's like a giant button that says like pyro. Or he's like, oh, did you try that one? And then they hit it and all the pyro goes off. He's like, yeah, so... <laughs> you didn't, you, didn't, you tried every button, you didn't, they just get the, get the fuck off the stage. Um, but then later on, like, he does something, he brings him, like, his guitar, and he's like, oh man, that guy's like the best roadie ever, and then they sing roadie. So it was a, so if I'm absolutely nitpicking, I'm like, um, actually, earlier you, you were saying that he was not a good roadie. But I can, yeah, that's just me being a, being a nerd. Kel Gass is 63. Is he? Aye. So how old's uh, Jack? Uh, I'll check Jackie Black. I, I assume he must be about the same. Um, Jack Black. No, he's 54. Wow. That's about what age I thought he would be. Thomas Jacob Black. He's 54. Because when was School of Rock, like 2003 to 4? Uh, like aye, yeah, must be. Yeah, so. 
he looks 35-ish in that, I would have thought. Yeah, spot on score. That was, two th- well, 2003 score, yeah. okay. Well, God. Shallow Hal, 2001, <laughs> good times. <laughs> Kyle Gas has got his own sort of group called the Kyle Gas Band. Right. <laughs> Which I feel is just such a pure, like, on message, tenacious D thing to do. Yeah. They're probably good, I haven't heard any of them though. No, no, I've not heard anything from the Kyle Gas Band. When is Green Day? Uh, I don't know, July? No, it's, it's definitely June. So I had the 4th of June in my head, but then I saw 25th the other day and I'm like, that's quite a considerable difference. I'm just doing fact checking the night. What's, what, Green Day, uh, Bella Houston? Yeah. Green Day, Bella Houston. Uh oh. Uh, 25th of June. That came oh, out of nowhere. Kiss my ass. I thought it was the 4th. That's well, like. It says 18th as well. It says 25th, 26th of June. But then it also says 18th of June. And then there's Dookie, a tribute to Green Day. On the 15th of November. Um, they sent fish. Nah, they're probably not. Probably good. Um, a man's going to see Busted. Aye, in, in the um, darkness. Aye. Wait, no, I thought the darkness were with Tenacious D. No. Oh, no, right, it is. It's, sorry, I'm talking shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we missed the. Uh, I think I was a sport band, but we missed them because I was with Cambo and Ross and. Um, I don't know, they're just wee fans. Camel's, Camel's the guy that see like when we were on holiday. It'd be like, oh, let's le- let everybody be ready, let's leave at nine. Like, leave at nine. So get your shit together, it's five past nine, and he's sitting there, just in his boxers, having a, having a snout, drinking a beer, like, ah, lads, just, just relax, relax. Any minute, no, no. you're not, come on, get a, get a shift on. Uh, although, to be fair, we were at his before it. Um, and uh, and he did arrange the tickets and everything, so I wasn't too vocal, but I was kind of like, for fuck's sake, come on. Um, so I, we got there like kind of 10 minutes before they started, and then we ran into this boy who like Ryan knows, and um, he sort of just attached himself to us and kind of just hung around us the whole night, which um, I don't really mind, but I was a bit like, Alright, oh, are you just you just staying now? Alright, oh, cool. He um had a bass amp that he left at Ryan's for like a year. And then uh, just randomly messaged him saying, Oh can I come get my bass amp tonight? Or or I think it was like, Oh I'm outside, uh, can I can I come get my bass come amp? Get and my he was, amp? No, he was fuck like off. Oh. Well, I mean of course I, I, if they asked for it, of course I think you should give them it back, but like he was like, no, I'm at work or something like that. He's well, like, he, was, he wasn't home, sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, like, yeah well, no, I doubled fuck off then. So, um, I, I, I've mentioned, I can't remember what I said to that, but I mentioned it at some point. I was like, oh, I, got, I know, I was being like, I was like, oh, I got a new bass amp the other day. I was just, I was, I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's just sitting inside Ryan's house, just playing, pretending to be flea, playing like your bass solos, trying to get in his house. Uh, no, I, I don't even know what happened because it was a shanner. It was like, um, so I, I don't know, it might have got, like that, so he's got his own house, but this was like back at his mods. So I don't even know. The bass he, amp? I, he's, ah, his oh, mum. His mum might have been there or something. For, oh, I don't know. Like, he wasn't just randomly buying a bass amp. Ah, because it was a, a shanner. So she like, so she'll uh, sent him a photo like, is this? Don, why is this still sitting in my house? Aye. This paperweight right here. No, uh, Doflamingo. Okay. A fake stolen hand-me-down line six, but it's fake, so it's like line seven. I'm sure she's not going to be able to lie first. Mm. All right. Flips you a wee middle finger there. Oh. Oh, oh. 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 Don't really get how you beat his devil for it. He just turns you into a puppet. Oh, do you? Uh, he like, controls eyes. you with puppet strings. Oh, but it's, no, like he controls you. It doesn't matter if you shut your eyes, he's just kind of 
twiddling his fingers and making everybody fight everybody else. How would you beat Eraserhead from My Hero? Punch him. But what if he erases your quirk before you can punch him? Regular punch him. But in, uh, in My Hero uh, Vigilantes, um, spoiler alert, the master. Um, Who's the is master? Quirkless. He's basically the. Oh, crikey. He's the main sort of. Well, one of the main guys in it. He's basically Batman. Oh, a, right. The, right. Way, the way the guys described the series, he said, well, All Might's basically Superman. Yes. So we decided to make Vigilantes with like a Batman style character because it's Vigilantes. Uh-huh. So they're operating outside the law. So the Master doesn't have a quirk, but he kind of fights really competently and can beat people with quirks. And for whatever reason, a racer head starts fighting him. And a racer head's like, oh, this guy's not slowing down, and I've erased his quirk. And he's like, oh. The only reason that this would be happening is because he, like, basically doesn't have a yeah. quirk. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Oh, buggy's making is that a a an anime answer. yet, or...? Vigilantes? Nah. Probably better going up the top and working your way round. So go the opposite mm, way? Ah, nah, go left. Bong. Yeah, Bong. 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 Left. Yeah, they're on the far right side. Alright, so it was stage left. Oh, buggy's out. Too late. He died, like, instantly. He went past him. I think you can go up that top right where there's a blue circle. And go through that way. Buggy's ran away. Buggy's are good anyway, so... So, yeah, but you need top left on the map. Top right. Because Beast is about to run away as well. Right, through there. The little star. Through, there. Right, through that wee door. Right, where the wee star is, I. Nah, he's run away. Too late. We might as well fight the wee star who's whopping his ass. Oh, is that Kizaru, an asshole? Fucking hate him. Mad light wielding motherfucker. Basically unbeatable. Even to this day, watching One Piece and fucking Kizaru's turned up again. Fucking Luffy's like Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, and he's like still can't fight this guy. And rightfully so, they just made him OP. Not interesting. Just bad writing. Oh, oh, oh how did you manage that? How did you grab him out of thin air? No, but you like grabbed him out of thin air. I just died, that's what I'm saying. I, just, he, I think he grabbed me and I. Dodge. Who who was support for Tenacious Death? That's what I just said, I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Don't, oh, you missed it? Yeah. Alright, because we showed up late. I think it was some mad old man, I don't think it was anybody interesting, was it? Um, I have no idea. Maybe it was the darkness. I'm excited because next year Bullet for my Valentine and Trivium are coming. So I've been listening to nothing but Bullet and Trivium. Uh huh. And a little bit of Blackstone Cherry. I'm Ninja you. Sex Party. Hi then, I'll help you. Uh, just because. In fact, Starbomb. I'm a, I bought a Starbomb song. Bought Luigi's Ballad. Oh, yeah. Isn't that... Is, um, is that Eagle Rap for... Uh, yeah, part yeah, of it? Or uh, his animation or something like he, that? He... I, I don't know if he... He's probably... Well, uh, I'm not sure about the animation, but... He definitely does the singing. He's Mario. He did Metal Gear Awesome, did he not? Back yeah, in the day. Yeah. My favourite line in that song is when he's just first introduces Mario and he goes, What up, bitch? I got a one up, bitch. Yeah. I fucking love that line. What up, bitch? I got a one up, bitch. What's inside the question block? It's my penis. It's my dick. I prefer the line about the trooper skeletons aren't the only dry <laughs> bones. <laughs> that's, that's a good line as well. And uh, I also got the Ryu vs. Ken. Oh, I don't know if I've heard that. Sort of rap. Yeah. I don't believe I have. Who's he one? Again, it's a very similar vein. Basically, when he's Ryu, so Ego Rap does Ryu and um, Danny sex bang is fucking um, Luigi. Um, 
sorry, Ken. I had a brain fart there. Um, and basically, it's just like, it's a round, it's two rounds of rapping. And um, Ryu raps really well, but he just raps about his dick the whole time. Right. You know, uh, makes a ton of puns about, you know, everyone's shaft and you know, shaft length. And he's like, my dick's, <laughs> what is it? My dick's your dick's three inches hard I'm working with a soft ten so what you got to motherfucking say to me Ken <laughs> and then um, Danny or Ken replies I don't appreciate those things that you just said I was raised to respect others and you know sometimes words can be hurtful and I just think, feel like an apology is in order and then it's like round two rap and he just again talks about his dick <laughs> No, he, I definitely. You definitely not heard that. You, you have to listen to it after this. The second verse is probably even better. And then um, when Danny replies, he's like, that, "Well, two can play at this game, dick penis man. <laughs> can you <laughs> lose to me in a rap battle? Sure you can." Yeah. <laughs> Do any other Street Fighter characters show up, or is it just those two? No, yeah, it's just those two rapping. Jojo's about to run away as well. I can't do anything about that, I'm stuck in here. Oh, you're stuck in here? Yeah, I think it's gonna be anyway. Just kill a Koji then. Yeah, what bit in Thingamabobber I'm up to? Hmm? What bit in My Hero I'm up to? Um, oh, Bakugo just swung about Midoriya. They're living in dorms. I was going to say, it's like every other episode. Yeah. Oh, is this where Ace? Oh. <laughs> where did he get sunglasses? It's just regular glasses. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's sunglasses. Maybe it's top shape. Oh, laser kit. Oof. Good catch, white beard. Is that guy you like? No, he's that guy who I don't understand. <laughs> the what, what he is. is. Ivanko. Uh, this is it. For me, this was the end of One Piece round about here. I'll ask you when I say. That's about me. He says, not your one and only brother? What about Sable? Sable? Sapple? What about that little reindeer thing? Well, no, he's more of a pet now. Mm. He's not his brother. This is crew. So did he die? Is that look he dead? No. Just knocked out. 